Welcome to Zahira Nina and welcome to my Fashion Week reviews. Now about Victoria Beckham. I've loved her from the moment she started to become a serious fashion designer. I always found her collections to be very sophisticated, very to the point, simple, straightforward, but with that special touch to it that made it so unique. I guess for her it was really a way of distancing herself from her girl band's past and making her way to be considered a serious fashion designer in New York, which I can imagine is not the easiest thing to accomplish. So. Anyway, I had the highest respect from the beginning she started in the game and yeah, always found it very to the point, very sophisticated. Now this season, she starts to mix things up. Um, there's way more color. There's some bold color combinations, um, something that you wouldn't consider naturally beautiful at first glance, but it definitely works together. Um, there's print. I don't think Victoria Beckham ever used print before, and I'm in love with it. Print is always, I find, find it something very tricky. It can easily go very wrong the way you combine it, but as always, she manages that without missing a beat. Now, for instance, here you can see the print very nicely, the surfer print. She calls it the city surfer print, at least in the interview with Vogue. I find it very appealing, the way it is printed, the way the colors and the movements of the prints flow into each other. It kind of supports the whole silhouette of the dress and the movement that comes when walking in it. So, as you can see, that's what I meant with the, the, the prints and the silhouettes and the colors go perfectly together. Everything complements each other and it's just amazing and beautiful to look at. Now about the silhouettes, they are bouncy, playful, daring at times and more adventurous than ever before in her collections. Um, now she has always been very good at tailoring like for instance the seam lines in special places so it would create a different shape for the body or accentuate certain uh, parts. She was always very good at that but then it was often kept in one color so you wouldn't necessarily jump on it. It would just look as a whole, nice hole, a nice piece and now with the prints and the colors and the mixing everything together it really jumps in the eye as well it's very visible it becomes more strong and yeah like i said i find it adventurous and there are so many beautiful pieces in this collection there are lots of dresses jackets there's even a bag featured it's called the half moon bag and surprisingly lots of shoes are flats, if not all of them, I'm not too sure, but lots of shoes are flats, which is something that would not have been um, imaginable for Victoria Beckham in the beginning of her career. But I find it really takes her whole career and her fashion house to the next level. And yeah, all in all, I have to say it's an amazing collection. The way everything goes together, plays together, it is a very bold, very strong and passionate collection. And I'm going to be very curious to see what people make of it, how people wear it. Yeah, I have to say for me, she has always been such a big inspiration, especially because she made it from a completely different genre to the rather tricky fashion design metier in New York. So big, big inspiration. She's really come a long way and it has been a real pleasure to watch her become a high-end designer. Yes. 
Now let's get into Diane von Furstenberg. Always been a big inspiration to me as well. She incorporates this strong woman, strong female character. She is living the American dream. She started at the bottom and just did what she wanted to do until she finally reached it and she wouldn't back down. There's not that many women out there anymore going for what they want. So for me to watch her collections every season is a big joy. And she also mentioned herself that this year's collection is a celebration of the female power, the, the, the beauty, the happiness. Now, Diane is also very comfortable with using print. She masters it extremely well. Uh, like I said, print is something tricky, especially combining different types of prints, which she masters since, you know, ever. And it's just amazing to see. I mean, I don't see many other fashion designers that combine prints like that. <laughs> so there are the strong colors that pop and uh, create a good mood, a good atmosphere. And then there is the more sophisticated metallic looks in her collection that create a slightly different vibe. And for me, these are the more goddess-like looks. And it really brings out a different side in a woman. And which is still powerful, but a bit more divine, maybe? Let's go with that one. Now with the silhouettes, she kept it quite simple. There's a lot of familiar patterns in there. The wrap dress, in general, lots of dresses. The wrap dress in all different kinds of uh, variations which is something that I really love about her as well. There is the known, and then she always adds something unknown to it. Then there are jumpsuits, which look amazing this season. They're so bright, so the bright pink with, with, with the, the other colors. Just, yeah, I love them. I love them all. And it really looks like she wants to empower the woman that wears the clothes to become her best self and follow whatever dream she has and go out there and do her thing. The feeling that comes from this collection, um, I would probably best describe it as one big summer meadow with lots and lots of different flowers and butterflies and paradise birds and everything beautiful and vibrant thrown into one place creating one big, beautiful, sweet atmosphere. Yes. So this is it for today's fashion reviews. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It will mean the world to me. Um, I really love doing this and I really hope to inspire some of you out there to follow your dreams and do what you like and want. Okay, see you soon. Bye.